What is up YouTube? So to start we are going to build the client side of our application. So I've got some line text open here and I've got my empty folder. So I'm going to start by using Bower to install Bootstrap and Angular. So we're going to go Bower, install, Bootstrap. And then we are going to say Bower, install, Angular. Perfect. All right, now we are going to create our index file. We're going to name it name index.html. And I'm going to use Emmet and create an HTML5 document. <clears throat> and we're going to say Cloud Scrape Fighter App. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and insta install Bootstrap CSS. So we're going to find it here. And let me shrink this just a fuzz. Okay, and we're going to say link. And we'll go Bower Components Bootstrap. Then we'll go dist CSS Bootstrap .min.css. And then we are going to install Angular JavaScript. So we're going to go script colon source hit tab for Emmet Bower components angular angular.min.js perfect now we need to create let's see let's create a folder for our JavaScript file so we're going to say JavaScript and we're going to insert a file and save it as app.js and then we'll come back here and we are going to call, we're going to we're gonna get, link that file. Script, source, Bower components, nope, not Bower components. JavaScript, app.js. And close it off. Let's see. Now I'm also, we're not going to worry about styling right now. Let's see what that looks like. Make sure everything is loaded. So I save that in... Tutorial and index. So we're going to come to inspect element and go to the networks tab. And we're going to reload it. And I don't know why it's doing that, but so we've got our index, CSS, Angular, and our app. Perfect. Now what we're going to do is in our app, we're going to start building the Angular app. So we're going to say, we're going to make a variable app. We're gonna name this app fighter uh, list app. Now we'll say fighter list, and we're gonna give it. Right now we have no dependencies, and we're gonna go ahead and create our controller, and we'll name that fighter list controller, and pass it a function. And while we're here, we're gonna pass in scope, and that is our function. Back to the index, we're going to make a directive for the app, ng app, equals, let's go ahead and just copy it. Oh, this, we want to copy, paste. Then in our controller, we're just going to go in the body, so we're going to say ng controller. And we're going to go ahead and grab, copy, and paste again. Copy, and paste. Let's go to our website that is blank and we'll see if we have any console errors just to make sure things are good okay perfect um, a lot of times just for the heck of it I like saying scope.test equals test and I like referencing let's just go ahead and say h1 class tag center and let's go ahead and just say test just to make sure we're all hooked up and test perfect okay Alright, that is it for this video. We set up the basics of our Angular app. In the next video, we're going to create the service that's going to hit our, our Node.js server.